Howdy. Greetings in Jesus' name. This is Samson here. I just wanted to give an update on what, I just want to give testimony. Uh, I just came back from the last Reformation uh, small group gathering that we have in Mesa, Arizona. Um, and uh, we basically connected back in December of 2018 uh, when there was a kickstart there with Torben um, Sondergaard. He came over and, uh, and did a three-day kickstart or two-day kickstart, I think. Anyhow, he, um, we, uh, ever since then, we all got connected in Arizona and uh, there's been this group that's been growing. Well, it's, it's, uh, it was pretty much in a home for a long time and it was overflowing. And now they are meeting at a food bank because it has grown so large, uh, they can't fit in the house anymore. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, I think. Um, people are definitely getting their, you know, meeting God at, this, at these places, I believe. And uh, I've been going uh, every chance I get. I don't live in the area, I live in Yuma, Arizona, about three hours away, but every time I'm in town, I try to stop by. Um, anyhow, I just wanted to give a testimony, uh, lots of words of confirmation, affirmation, uh, great uplifting words, uh, my, bro my brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, they're praying for me, and, and, uh, and in the course of times I get, to, I get to pray for other people as well. Well, um, this guy named Sergio, uh, he said he had pain in his back, and um, he asked me, I mean, I didn't go up to him and offer, I didn't realize he was having problems, but he... He just asked me, he says, hey, can you pray for my back? Uh, yeah, I got pain in my back. I've been lifting some furniture or something like that. I think I just uh, over did, overdid it, overworked it. And I, I, um, he, he had me pray for his back. I think it took probably five or six times. Um, I guess it was going lower each time. I don't know for sure. But um, eventually at the, the last time that I, that I laid my hands on his back, I you know, just laid my hand there, I believe, and I said, thank you, Jesus. And that was it. And uh, that was it, you know, God took care of the rest because, you know, really he's the only one doing anything through us. So we're partnering with him. It's an honor to be a part of it, um, a blessing to be a part of what he's doing. And uh, basically Sergio's back is healed. Uh, he was moving all over the place, testing it out, stretching it, moving, you know, bending forward and all that. And he got healed. And um, I, I, I'm, to be honest, I, I'm, I didn't believe it. I, I need help. God is working on me and my unbelief uh but i mean i believe sergio but i'm like god using me to pray for lay hands on people it's 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 uh it's happened a number of times i've seen people get healed but it's 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 always a shock you know it really is um it shouldn't be it should be normal but um i'm thankful that i was able to be a part of this again and uh and as we're leaving uh everyone's leaving everyone's gone uh, getting in the cars, leaving. I'm with Curtis, and um, and then and Curtis jumps into the truck, and I'm getting ready to get in my van. And all of a sudden, uh, Tammy, Curtis's wife, runs over from her car, says, "Hey, you guys, hold on, hold on. There's uh, his name was Edgar. Edgar's over here. He needs he needs prayer." And and um, <laughs> so we got out of our cars and went over to Edgar, and uh, he's limping over really bad, like really limping over, and um, and then uh. And I think I think I saw Edgar earlier in the meeting, and I guess he left, but then he came back, and I guess he normally helps out of the food bank. And uh, Tammy, uh, Curtis, and I prayed for Edgar, and we took turns praying for Edgar. And when it was all said and done, um, Edgar's foot, which was he was limping, he had a problem with his foot where there was a, like this something was inside his foot that was really painful, probably a bone spur or something. That's what we kind of we kind of thought it might have been that it, every time he walked, it would, it would create a real sharp pain in his foot. And the more he did it, the more it got. And after being on your feet all day, it would be hurting a lot worse at the end of the day. And he was just limping really bad. And, and then uh, when we were also done, the pain was started as screaming, and then it went down and it kept going down lower and lower. And then the pain was gone, but there was still something he could feel there. And then I guess he couldn't feel that thing anymore when it was all of a sudden done. We made sure that the pain was gone and the thing that was the foreign object, bone spur, whatever, was also gone. And uh, he walked away, and he wasn't limping anymore at all. He walked away from there, and he was not limping anymore. And um, I am thankful to Jesus that he, uh, he allowed us to still be there when Edgar showed up at the last minute. When everybody was leaving, Edgar's like, hold on, hold on. And um, 
it was, uh, I'm glad I lingered because I got to be a part of that one too. So I'm pretty excited uh, trying to just kick the devil's teeth in, you know. Uh, this, this past few years of my life have been uh, some of the most wonderful times growing in God. I've, I've experienced quite a bit. I've been a part of quite a bit. I am thankful. Uh, learning my identity in Christ and I'm still growing uh, I, I need to keep growing I'm, I know there's so much more room for progress and um, and I'm still I'm still striving and um, but I, I want to give my testimony and I want to give God glory uh, every time I, every chance I get and these these videos that I used to do more often I haven't done in a long time I hope that they go all over and they are a, a, a confirmation a testimony for the power of God that God is still doing miracles today and he uses his children to do it he partners with his children to do it you and me brothers and sisters disciples of Jesus Christ brothers and sisters of Jesus brothers and sisters in Christ disciples of Jesus Christ sons and daughters of Yahweh God he partners with us to do to, to do what he wants to do to spread the gospel to show the world that he's real and then he loves them and he cares for them even at the most basic level in concern for the most basic needs of a headache, a pain, or you know, even the big ones, you know, cancer, all these other things. We've seen miracles, we've seen people get healed. And uh, I just want to give testimony. And this group in Mesa is, is, is beautiful. Every time I go there, I, I appreciate everyone I meet. And the love of God is in almost, is in everyone I, I, I meet there. Um, God is awesome. I am thankful, and I hope that this will continue to grow, not just in Mesa, but it will grow. I know that I think almost all the people that go to that Mesa group are not all from Mesa. I think they're all over from Phoenix, um, and uh, some of them are traveling hours. I come from Yuma, and I'm traveling like three hours. You know, I'm moving to Florence, uh, so I'm only going to be about 45 to an hour away. So that's a blessing. But um, I'm hoping that we'll spread this and it'll continue to grow. And uh, I just want to give a shout out. Anybody uh, in the area, Arizona, uh, Phoenix area, Mesa, Chandler, uh, Scottsdale, uh, even the surrounding areas, you know, uh, within an hour or so, um, there is a healthy, strong, vibrant family of God group for the, that, you know, the, that I want to say the last Reformation small group, but that's it's really just a small, a, a Christian gathering because not everybody understands uh the last formation but we're all gathering together because God has put us together and um, it is beautiful so if you want to be a part of it uh, I'll try to put some notes in the thing below um, for you to contact us and and uh, or or just contact me I don't know <laughs> anyhow uh, God bless y'all um, have a wonderful night it is almost midnight it is time for me to go to bed <laughs> okay uh, God bless you in Jesus' name, God is awesome. Hallelujah.